Thank you, uh, distinguished chair, my brother Osama. Your Excellencies, Your Excellency Ambassador Osama Mahmoud Abdel Halek, a going chairperson of the PRC, colleague commissioners, colleague ambassadors, heads of AU organs, allow me on behalf of our distinguished chair to wish you a happy new year. I have the honor, not to say privilege, to be able to open this 39th ordinary session of our PRC on behalf of our distinguished chairperson, His Excellency Musa Faki Muhammad, who very much I'd like to be here with us by his out there in Europe in a meeting in Berlin, followed by a meeting in London, always at the forefront of solving Africa's many problems. He wishes you all the very best. For me personally, it is always a pleasure and a privilege to be able to address this august gathering, the PRC, which in my view is a very central organ of our organization and a very important place where all the deliberations and the debates commence. Every good thing begins in the PRC. So allow me on your behalf to thank our outgoing chair Osama, who has been a particularly effective chairperson, cajoling us and prodding us and pointing out our mistakes, occasionally encouraging us all in the supreme effort to do what is best for our continent. As far as the Commission is concerned, our work on developing a new structure for the Commission is ongoing and we shall soon be able to finalize it. With respect to the pro progress of reform, this is being extended to all organs in order to ensure coherence and harmony within the work of our commission here in Addis and our organs outside of Addis, all in the process of allowing a reform to go on and allowing the incoming chair to work in a continuous and efficient and effective manner. On our part as a commission, we need to continue to work to improve our budgetary processes as well as to focus on the implementation of our vision, our Agenda 2063. And we, use, we, we, we seek to use this opportunity to enhance the collaboration between the PRC and the Commission, two sides of the same coin, as we say, like twin brothers occasionally uh, receiving some punches but always appreciating the very important work that the PRC brings to bear on the African Union as a whole. So I'd like to thank you once again for your continuous engagement. As a matter of fact, for your continuous critical engagement. With your help, prodding us here and there, the Commission was able to pass the seven pillar assessment with flying colors. This allows us, and will continue to allow us, the space to enhance our internal procedures, the recommendations of our audit system, and the improvement of our tracking system is being put in place to monitor the progress of our work. We'd like to use this opportunity to encourage the PRC subcommittees to continue with their very important work. The subcommittees of the Permanent Representative Committee reviewed the proposed new structure 
along with the proposed financing strategy in October and November 2019. The revised proposal was considered and adopted by the PRC from the 4th to the 5th December 2019. It will now be considered by the policy organs during this coming summit in February 2020. This subcommittee provided feedback on the transition plan for the new departmental structures. Based on feedback provided and following validation by the commission, the subcommittees will review the revised financing and transition plan and then transmit the same again to the PRC for consideration and expected adoption during this, ses this session. On the financing of the union, I am delighted to report that pursuant to the 35th ordinary session of the Executive Council, a retreat on the financing of the union, I am pleased to report that pursuant to the 35th ordinary session of the Executive Council decision, a retreat bringing together the Peace and Security Council, the Bureau of the PRC, the Board of Trustees and Executive Management Committee of the AU Peace Fund and the Chairs of the Subcommittee on General Supervision and Coordination and Audit Partners, as well as the Committee of Finance Ministers, took place on 11 January 2020. This retreat took stock of the status of implementation and operationalization of the AU Peace Fund. It is fair to say that remarkable progress has been made since the Assembly took the decision to revitalize the Peace Fund in 2016. The primary objective of the Assembly in 2015 was to improve the AU's financial autonomy and to ensure predictability of financing of the Peace Fund and security priorities. It was recognized that the old financing modalities of the Peace Fund were not entirely effective and we ended up with limited resources than we really needed. Since 2017, the AU member states have been able to contribute to the AU Peace Fund and a total of $141 million has been collected. This is a clear testament to the validity and effectiveness of the Assembly's decision. While strategic partnerships on peace and security will always be required, the Peace Fund, with, with its $400 million endowment from member states, will provide, will enable the AU to drive its own peace and security agenda on the basis of its own assessment of the problems and its own determination of the appropriate solutions. So, Your Excellencies, against the background of all this, we could be spared or we could extend to ourselves the luxury of patting ourselves on the back and also to commend and celebrate the leadership of Egypt under its very able representative, my brother Usama here for all the work that we've been able to achieve. And we expect that with this spirit, the incoming chair will continue and we shall expect to chalk even more success in the coming future. So allow me then to wish you on behalf of Our Excellency the Chairperson, the entire commission, a happy and successful 2020 and a happy new year. I'd like to thank you humbly for your kind and polite attention. Thank you very much.